welcome to my little part of the internet. I am Sarah if it is your first time here and today we are doing a Lululemon try on haul but to switch things up I bought stuff both from the actual Lululemon website and then I also bought some things from Lululemon like new. So we'll be able to kind of compare the two quality wise. I will attempt to have everything time stamped down below as well as all the products listed too. So if you kind of want to jump around this video and just see the Lululemon like, that's a tongue twister, Lululemon like new stuff, I will have that time stamped. Or if you want to just go ahead and see the regular Lululemon stuff, that will also be time stamped. Without further ado, let's get into the video and see what everything is all about. To quickly break things down, Lululemon came out with a Lululemon like new. Basically it's just secondhand stuff that Lululemon has purchased from customers and they're repurposing I think possibly and then selling it back. I also wanted to see what the different types of clothing they had were. Specifically they have good as new stuff and then they have gently used stuff. So I bought one thing in two different colors. One was gently used, one was as good as new. So we can compare and see what the quality difference is. So yeah, let's go ahead and start opening that. I'm so excited to see what it's about. And they also shipped it to in a very environmentally safe packaging, which is interesting and kind of nice too. So yeah, let's get to opening this guy up. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna start off first with the bottoms I purchased and then we can expand and see what the top. So the first thing I got were Lululemon women's shorts was all it said online. They, I'll put a picture of what they're supposed to look like right here. They were supposed to be biker shorts. So let's see how they look in real life. They look pretty new to me. Hopefully these fit, these look so tiny. <laughs> but I will say some people who have tried the lululemon like new when they buy a pair of leggings or whatever sometimes the tag will still be inside and that kind of hints to you that it's never really been worn or the person who had them really didn't wear it that often because the tag's still inside but these do not have the tag inside so i'm assuming they've been worn a little bit and then the person must have just changed their mind they look pretty good here they are on super cute i will say i think they might have been given up one, they're a bold color, so I feel like this definitely isn't everybody's vibe, which is also why I wanted to buy it cheaper because I might not wear it a ton. Other than that, they do show tons of lines or like underwear lines. Anything underneath, you see it very prominently with this material. There's even an inseam right through here, though I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but you can see it in person. So that's a little annoying, but honestly, they feel great and look very new. I think they're going to look adorable with an oversized t-shirt just kind of poking out at the bottom. That's the plan. So these definitely get a thumbs up. All right, now for the next bottoms I got. I've really, really been wanting a pair of navy leggings. I mostly have black leggings. So when I saw these on their website, I'll put a little picture right here on the side so you can see what they're supposed to look like. They looked so cute. So I figured since they were a little less expensive than traditional Lulu, I would go ahead and try them. Oh, that's cool. I've got a nice zipper, which I'm sure is just the line. Oh, these have a... Oh, but they look like they've been worn, though. So there is a little tear in the tag, but it has a tag. So I'm guessing these really weren't worn that much. Because I always remove this thing. But now you can kind of see what I mean by it has a tag in it. Um, They look cute. I'm excited to try them on. See if there's anything wrong with them. They look good. The stitching all looks good too, I guess. We'll go ahead and try these guys. Okay, that looks a little rough. But I'm not sure if that's just this kind. No, never mind. That does look rough. Here, I'll show you really close. The stitching on this side, can you tell it's kind of coming untethered a little bit? Which, I mean, I'll live with. It's not the worst thing ever. And then the inside stitching, it looks like it's got other random fabric kind of pilled. Can you see that? A little bit. So they've definitely been worn, but I will try them on and we'll see how they do. They look pretty good. I mean, honestly, they look probably as good as the leggings I have upstairs, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Here the leggings are on. They're great. The only issue I can feel or see with them is there's little imperfections right here kind of on the waist or hip area. 
But other than that, they seem like new, like they're called like new. Just because they're such a dark material, you really can't tell the imperfection is there. They seem good to me. I definitely give these a thumbs up. I ended up getting the Swiftly tank top in two different conditions. One was gently used and one was like new. So I'm thinking this one is the like new one. I haven't really even opened it up yet, but you can kind of, it still has the tag connected to it for one. And it just, in the bag, it looks like better condition. And then this one is the gently used. And look at that tag. That kind of looks a little gross. Can you see? It's discolored and I didn't even tear it out correctly. So definitely think I want to wash this before I try it on. Just in case. <laughs> so here's a closer one at the like new condition one. I mean, it doesn't look like, it is like new, but you can tell there's still fraying on the tag a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but it, there's definitely a little bit of fraying, like someone did wash it a couple times, maybe just once. It looks pretty good. I've never owned a Swiftly. I've wanted to expand into their tank tops and different tops too. So I thought this would be a nice affordable way to kind of try them out. But yeah, I'm excited to try this one on and see how it goes. Here is the first Swiftly on. It's super cute. It is a bit tight for me, but I think that's just the Swiftly in general. I mean, it's definitely fits good. I just prefer looser stuff when I work out, but I am liking it and the quality seems spot on. I can't really tell that it's been used or worn before except for one thing. I did notice that this is the one piece that smells, it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like a fabric cleaner and sweet tarts mixed together. So I definitely think it's been worn and washed by somebody else. Other than that, I really can't tell it's ever been worn or used by anyone else when I have it on. So I think this one gets a thumbs up too. Now on to the gently used Swiftly tank top. Honestly, this kind of looks like it might've been even boughten like new and then someone just resold it back to the line again to be like new used again because if you look the like new tag or imprint that they do on it looks like it's been washed or distressed quite a bit instead of being as nice and crisp as the gently used one i have let me see if it'll zoom in so you can see it's nice and crisp there you go you can see how nice and crisp the, that lettering is and this one definitely looks like it's been rough and washed a bit yeah there's quite a bit of pilling let me show you some close-ups so you can see what i'm talking about you can definitely see there's some distressed material pilling along the seam there which i'm assuming is a high friction spot potentially yeah the stitching just looks a little roughed up yeah i'll try this guy on after i wash him really quick and then we can see how it fits compared to the other one I just put on. Here is the other Swiftly on. I feel like the cut is very similar. It doesn't seem like it's been stretched out or anything. It does have a little bit more wear to it, which comes with the territory of having it be gently used versus the like new. There is some pilling on the material. That's all the Lululemon like new I got. I definitely think it's worth it if you get stuff that's in the like new condition. They definitely seem really nice and well taken care of. I don't think I would buy anything gently used again because it's just at that point I'd rather just spend 10 or 20 more bucks and get one that hasn't been worn so that's just my own opinion moving on past that let's go ahead and check out the Lululemon items I bought what is this I don't remember buying this oh okay I remember now <laughs> what the first thing I ended up getting was a pair of biker shorts. I really wanted to get these just in case the other ones didn't work out. These are the Wonder Train 8 inch shorts. Let's go ahead and try these ones on. Here they are on. I'm absolutely in love with these. I think I might like this length more just because it hits lower down so it squeezes less of my leg. For some reason the shorter ones always seem to squeeze right here. Maybe I just have squishy leg but the longer length i think just looks a bit more flattering personally on me but love the material love the cut then i got a sports bra oh that is a pretty color this is the energy bra which is super cute because it's got this really pretty crossed detail or strap in the back and then it's just basic in the front 
so always need new sports bras i don't think i'm gonna try this on for the video but i will say these are very comfortable <laughs> and i do enjoy them quite a bit lululemon is discontinuing their wonder under pants and I'm really sad about that. And I only own one other pair of their Wonder Unders. So of course when I saw they had these really pretty, I don't remember what color it is exactly, but I'm in love with it. So when I saw that these were on sale, I jumped on it. I'll try to link them down below because I've noticed they slowly do come back in stock and then they'll be sold out and then they'll come back in stock. So if you can get your hands on a pair of these, I would recommend it. Here they are on. I'm obsessed with this cut. I'm going to be so sad when I can't get it anymore, which I think is going to happen very, very soon, which is fun. But I thought I would throw on a little nugget of information into the video because my one issue I have with them is they're a little bit too long, but Lululemon alters all of their clothing for free. So if you take them into a store, they'll fix it and make it perfect for you. So I might end up doing that with these because I'm kind of short and they're just a little too long. <laughs> but other than that, absolutely obsessed, especially with the color. This is so cute. So pretty much everybody and their mother has the Lululemon fanny pack. And I have held off for so long, but I finally broke down and bought one. So because I am so obsessed with this color and just think it's the cutest thing ever, I decided to invest in one. And honestly, I think it was a good investment just because there's so many pockets and I feel like the current fanny pack I have just doesn't hold quite as much as I want. And this guy, I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna hold it all and then some. So definitely excited about this. Now for the last thing. All right, last but certainly not least, I got a long sleeve shirt that is also in that same color because I am just that obsessed. So this is a cropped, oh, that looks really cropped. Hopefully it looks okay on, but I got a cropped long sleeve shirt. I thought this would be really nice for hiking. If I wore it with leggings and then got hot, I could take it off. Super excited about this guy, but I will go ahead and try him on really quick for you. Here's the top on, it's super cute. I will say it is a little bit more cropped than I was initially thinking. But besides that, I still think it's really cute. And I usually wear those tank toppy bra things underneath. It feels cooling and warm all at once. I don't know how else to describe it, but like I said, this is going to be a great addition to my hiking collection. <laughs> and just because I am so obsessed with that color and I obviously bought an entire outfit of just that maroony red color, I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip here of me trying it all on together because that's a thing, right? completely matched monotone color outfits. Is this too much? Let me know if this is too much. I think it might be, but I'm in love with all the pieces, so why not throw them all together, right? They're all supposed to be the same color. All right, that is it for today's video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked stuff like this. I definitely had a lot of fun trying out the Lululemon like new stuff and kind of seeing what it was all about. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and check out the description box because all the items will be attempted to be linked. I don't know if Lululemon like new stuff can be linked, but I'll try. Thanks again so much for watching and I will catch you in a video very soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.